Hi, I'm Denny Amundsen, Director of the State Department of Developmental Services. The video you're about to see focuses on people with developmental disabilities who work in supported employment positions. Under supported employment, job coaches train persons with disabilities to work in the competitive marketplace. Today, about 10,000 Californians with developmental disabilities work in supported employment jobs. They work because they are capable, because they can do the job and do it well. As you will see in this video, hiring people with developmental disabilities makes great sense. Great bottom line business sense. They are outstanding employees, well liked by their bosses, their coworkers, and the customers. Let's take a look. I always wanted to be a courtesy clerk, and I really like it because they really helped me. And because I have my job coach come in every, almost every day and see how I'm doing and checks on me and she tells me that I'm doing a great job and that makes me feel good. I was very impressed with his, uh, his smile, his uh, friendliness, uh, uh, his uh, appeal to be the type of individual that we needed to be a courtesy clerk because he wanted to please. I could tell right off the bat he was, he liked to please people. I think I'll work here for a while because this is a good place. I like it. Right from the, the, the president and CEO of the company all the way down is behind programs of this nature. Everyone who wants to work and be a contributing part of the community is entitled. <laughs> I'm willing to learn new things. I went to the interview. I got interviewed right on the spot, and she asked me questions, and and she tried kind of tried me out a little bit, see if I can do the job, and I did good, and I started the next day. Each task that I show her, she'll say, "Oh, let me try that. Let me see if I can do this right." So there's a there's a desire to learn, even if it's something that she th perceives as being difficult at first. And I don't think there's anyone that can tie raffia ties as well as Wanda at this point, and probably not as quickly. Hey, Wanda, how are you doing? I'm doing fine today. You having a good time this morning? Yes. Wanda gets to work on time every morning, checks in at the time clock, just like everyone else here, and goes right to her, her task. A lot of our program, I feel, particularly as a job coach, is education of the public in general. So, you know, in educating the employer, educating other workers on working with people who have a developmental disability but are not that different from you or me. I do very good with my hands, my boss said. I do good. Gary's been with us now for a little over six years. You know, he's got, he's got one speed and that's, you know, continuous, you know, forward motion. You know, he's just always going, always keeping busy working. Or from 11 to 8 every day, five, six days a week. Be yeah, one day off, send it, and that's it. <laughs> that's, he couldn't ask for a better employee. You know, he's a very company loyal, loyal person, very loyal to his employer. He makes sure that uh, all our cars are kept clean, neat, running. The more you tell him the better job he's doing, the better job he just keeps doing. He, he has real personal pride when it comes to that. I know I'm pretty proud of Gary because I think he's uh, certainly a superhuman being in my eyes. He does such good work detailing and washing cars. They come out looking beautiful. And everybody's very pleased when he's, when he's done. They, I think they purposely take the cars to him because they know what they're going to be like when he's done, which makes him proud. I worked out being the lot manager, so that's how I did. I just kept working up. Started from the bottom, worked myself up. That's why, why I am who I am now. <laughs> no, I like I like being here because I like the animals. how to groom them and how to take care of them. 
because we we do a good job on their dogs, so they're they're pleased with that. I'm still getting the hang of it, but but I know who belongs to who sometimes. She's right there. She's very aware of the whole program. And I've had customers talk to her out there and she's been able to answer their questions. There were times when I wasn't here that she had helped my office person by getting dogs and having no problem stopping what she was doing and seeing that somebody needed help and promptly doing it. We were very pleased with the program. We were very pleased with the whole thing. Well, it's like trying to communicate with a kid, but it's, it's, they don't talk back. It took me some time to, you know, learn the job, but after that, it, it was a great success to me and came over here to, to show me what the job was like, you know, uh, a tour. So I said, okay, when this job comes, um, let me take a chance on it. And just, I told him, just give me a week or two and, and, and I see how, how good I am on this job. So after the two weeks, it went right falling in place. And that's what successful is all about. The most rewarding part of my job is when the consumer finds success in the placement where he's happy and he's as far as he wants to go. Uh, the offshoot of that is they find other activities through the coworkers at work. They find other things to do out in the community, social things, clubs, dances. And when they get to the point where they're being promoted and they're happy where they're at, then I'm successful. And I get to see success at each end, and that's just rewarding to me. I think it's very beneficial. I think for uh, not only for the employer, but for the uh, employee. They adapt quickly. They're more conscientious in, in what they're doing. They're more concerned. And you get better quality out of, out, out, out of your work. And so from that, uh, they're dedicated more than the average uh, em em employee that we have. They're very dedicated to what they're doing, and they care about their work and how it's done. And those are the type of people that we're looking for. They said that I'm, that I'm doing a great, great job, you know, helping them select, uh, going to carousels, stuff and seal and then even I meet her too so when I meet her I offload and meet her at the same time and and keep the job going. I'm amazed at how much he can retain because he just remembers everything and he'll come and he'll tell me this doesn't look right and I says it sure isn't and there's a lot of people that don't do that work in there they won't catch the mistakes that he catches and he's very good. I enjoy working with him. Like I said, he amazes me at the things that he grasps and how quickly he grasps them. He's, I like working with Mary, too. Yeah, he's very good. If you look at it from the standpoint that everybody comes out a winner, your company will be more profitable, you are really making a social contribution to your community, and every time you see the individual, there's really a sense of self-satisfaction. And above all else, you've got an individual now that perhaps has a real mechanism because of yourself to become a contributing member of the community. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me and I love this job very, very much. I first met Amy Gooman when I was a manager of the Barnard restaurant. A lot of people like her. Uh, they ask for her mostly by name, which is nice. Um, and uh, even at times would ask that to a point if she's here today or not. The people that I work around are the nicest people in the world. You can come up, the uh, members can come up here and, and they can start talking or with me and I smile and they're always nice. You can talk to them. And they're friendly people, so. I think it does make good business sense. And I think as days go by, you're gonna find, whether it be here or any other business, uh, 
it it's, should have happened a long time ago, unfortunately, but it hadn't. Uh, but yes, yes, I think they've made uh, a very good stride forward. Uh, I'd like to see even more opportunities. It's people that that'll t say you're doing good, you're doing great, or you need some help. That's always nice to know that you have a friend and the staff, and if you need something, you can go to them. And it's a miracle that don't know how and how it came along, but it came. <laughs>absolutely wonderful worker. He's willing to learn and listen. He wants to be a team member. He wants to work. Well, she showed me how to do classroom research, stuff like that. You know, concentrate. You may have to do responsibility, stuff like that. You have to pay attention. He counts some money and he repeat and when he's giving back, he recounts some money. That okay, this is your change and all. He's always like a smiling face and uh, friendly to the customers. And you can just think, I mean, it's very simple. Uh, even my customers who came from the drive through they also say, like, uh, give our regards to Aaron. And it's really an honor, you know. Because of their attitudes and their wanting Aaron to be a part of a team, Aaron's attitude has really exploded. It's been great. <laughs>